All right, so with green Sario actually being a really good way of making use of blue Lilia in basically any team that you want, I think that this Bon plus Lilia infused team could be quite good, especially if you don't have um, what's his face, the Terry, because Terry honestly, if you if you don't have Terry, Bon is a bit unusable in the current meta. Terry basically carries the Bon team by having that cleanse plus stupid good ultimate uh, but this should be good this should actually be i want to say like if i can get it should work the way i'm thinking because i don't have blue, uh, green zaldris so i'm not gonna have the most hp out of lilia but i have the hp food i have the r for buff and i think it should be enough and we're facing another bond 211k i'm assuming it's a bot um not a good start having pulled like infinite artifact cards, but it's okay. So the idea for me here is to um, actually use as many bond cards as I can. I'm thinking either using the link on bond or Arthur, right? So whenever I use the cards, I can actually pop in. Because if I use two bond cards, that's max Lilia passive, right? That's max Lilia passive. Oh, Lilia got her stats lowered. That's not good. And when I use the Bond blue card, I'm also increasing the HP. Mm. She got her stats lowered. It's um, not the best. She has more HP than Bond. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, right? With the debuffs. I guess that makes sense. She got more HP than Bond. That's why she's being targeted by Terry. That's crazy. We can oh we can we have a level three for her, but we can't even use because of Terry. Let's pop in these Bond cards, right? My Arthur is basically invincible because right now there's a PvP rule that everyone has thirty percent or cards do thirty percent less damage, and then on top of cards doing thirty percent less damage, if you have a stance. You have 30% damage reduction. So Arthur is basically immortal. <laughs> like he takes no damage. Uh, got the debuffs on them. I I'm just gonna use the Lilia. Oh, oh. now Bond has more HP because his passive going. Oh, that's good. That's good for me. Even though he took off my, my ultimate. That's good for me. So if I do face a Terry, at least I know that. So long as my Bond has his passive going, he's gonna have more HP than Lilia and... Terry's gonna target her. Let me actually check how much HP she has. I have the level 2 bond buff, right? Which increases max HP. So her max HP should be high. Yes, yeah, 630k. This will hit hard. This will hit very hard. Let me do a bond AoE just for general damage. This will hit very hard. Ooh, that also hit hard. Yeah, 300k. And keep in mind, I'm doing 30% less damage. Could be hitting harder than this. <laughs> it could be. Alright, this was, uh, I guess, a nice test of uh, damage, because of course it wasn't a real match. Nice test of damage. I now know that for the, for the majority of the match, I am gonna have more HP with Lilia than with Bon. <laughs> Just because of how her kit works. With the... The buffs and everything. We pop this in so we can have one more de one more debuff for her. She's the only issue of using Lilia for me. Her ultimate is already very weak, and I also have like no dupes for her. Yeah, so I'm not killing here. Her ultimate is very weak. And with the bond team, you do rely on ults, but I guess with her, I wouldn't have to rely on ults as much. I just wouldn't have to rely on ults as much because I have her damage. It's just when facing another bond team is... Bond matches can last very long. <laughs> bond matches can last very, very long. It's the thing about when you face a bond, right? Because what decide, decides like how long the match will be is how lucky the bond player is. If the bond player gets an extra Terry card, the match is going to last two turns. Because it's going to get Terry ultimate and ult you and kill you, basically. 
if he doesn't get Terry ultimate, the match can last upwards to 500 turns <laughs> because he won't die and he will be doing eh, okay DPS until he gets very lucky and, and you know, gets like some bond cards going. It's again the thing, right? It's all about luck when you're using bond. If you don't get lucky, the match will last forever and you can lose, but if you get lucky, you won. That's why I don't like the bond team anymore. It's, it's always been like that, to be fair, like, it always was, like, whoever gets luckier wins. Which I guess, it, to an extent, every every PvP match in this game is like that, right? But it was, like, worse with Bon, I feel like. Let's go with this. Bon's doing his own damage thing. Lilia outputting more DPS than Bon, love to see it. She's doing her usual damage, again, you gotta keep in mind, I am doing 30% less damage, but... Um, she's just doing damage like if I was using Kyo, basically, because I have so much HP, right? Because her her damage is reliant on both attack and HP, because her attack card is based on attack, but her passive makes her do more damage based on HP. So, me buffing my HP really, really helps, obviously. I think the Galfrey dies here. Yep. Gonna be applying them debuffs. Maybe I should have gone for the kill on Asconor of the single target. But I killed anyways. Okay. A King Chandler. Can say... I mean, I guess he's using the PvP rule. I guess that's uh, that's why <laughs> Chandler. I was gonna say I never thought I'd see this combo. Again, I guess it makes sense. You are utilizing the PvP rule to its fullest, having not only the King Shield but also sixty percent damage reduction. <laughs> right, let's pop in the bond. Pop this in. Combine cards for Lilia. There's no point in me attacking here. I'm doing straight up no damage. He has a shield, plus he has absurd damage reduction. My damage would be completely negligible. Ooh, that... That King Shield is going to be strong. Does he have a level 3? He might have a level 3 here. No, okay. Um, Bon won't do much, but I kind of want to attack with him so I can get one more debuff in. Yep. We're not going to kill because of Chandler. Yep. If not for Chandler, I would have killed. He lowered my stats twice. If not for the damage reduction rule, I also would have killed, but in this situation, I knew even if the damage reduction, I would kill, but Chandler actually cocked me. <laughs> what should I do? I think I'm popping in the bond level 2. That's fine by me. I would love to actually have an Arthur card. See, the thing is that this card... The Flood effect is what really is helping me break the shield. So it is a bit unfortunate that he disabled her. Let's pop in the Bond card. And we're attacking so we can get debuffs in. King got like a lot of heal out of that, that's very unfortunate. He's probably gonna disable my bond, that's why I said I kinda wanna, kinda wish I had a uh, a taunt here. Mmm, okay. Let's see how this goes. I, I don't I don't think I'm killing though. 
None of the damage reduction. Oh, Lily is hitting pretty decent, actually. I might kill with Bond. How much passive do I have for him? I have... 4 stacks? Yeah, I had 4 stacks of his passive, right? Yeah. Plus a level 2 blue card. Okay, I need to remi remind myself... I need to back out, because I am on the uh, best of 3 for becoming ch uh, Challenger. If you don't know, Challenger, at least on JP, is only bots. Only bots, there's no real players at all. And top 100, like I would play top 100, but I do a lot of like weirder teams like this. I would not be able to use this on top 100. I just simply wouldn't. Every single person on top 100, even the bots, wouldn't allow me to. You know what I mean? It just wouldn't allow me to. And I have no choice. If 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 I go for uh, having top 100 enabled, I have to have challenger, and not be able to play champ anymore. So I'm basically tied to it. This is pretty hard. I mean, I think with Bond's blue card, you saw I had like 600k HP. She can hit pretty hard because her HP is very, very, very low. Oh, sorry. Very, very high. <laughs> Her HP is very, very high. Regardless of having Zelda's or not. And so long as I can rely on Bond debuffing, I can easily, you know, get her Holy Relic going. I mean, let me back out before I kill him. Yeah, okay. Make it our last match. I think uh, we've seen Bond. You know? <laughs> we've seen him. Mm, I... Kind of want to go for attacking here. Just straight up, but I don't want to get debuffed. I mean, it's fine. I think... Mm, I'll go for like a big attack. It's fine for me to get debuffed because he doesn't have like Sigurd. So I'm, he's not like going to get like super buffed by it. But he does have Zaldras and Melascula. Meaning that he will actually have like really high stats. Put up a shield. It's a bot. Well. <laughs> uh, well. Let me just do my bot attacks here. Mm, guess I'll target Melee for Lilia to attack. And she definitely kills. No! Wow! I'm actually surprised. I mean, I do have type disadvantage. Maybe because of uh, just having really high defense? I don't know. Check his stats 17k defense. Mm. Because he doesn't have Melascula, right? So his defense must be like really high right now. Or his stats must be really high. In either case, he's still <laughs> got halted by 1.8 million. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think this is a neat little combo. I don't think it's any competitive, to be honest. If I do face like a real Terry Bond team, I would get clapped turn one. Again, like I said, it depends on how lucky he gets. With the Bond team, it's all about how lucky each person gets. If I get luckier, I win. If he gets luckier, he wins. More about that. But in any case, well, not bad.